Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One and my old barn door. And I have some farm folios to share with y'all, but I also have some news to share with y'all of some things that are going to be going on um, on my channel over the next few weeks or so. Um, I'm really, really excited to share it with you. Um, but I, I first want to talk about the farm folios. Um, the farm folios will be in my shop when you see this video. Um, I had several people who had requested, back when I did the other folio journals, they had requested for me to do some farm style folios. And I just haven't had time to get to them until now. So I finally got them finished. Um, I think there's 20 of them. And they will be listed in my shop when you see this video. So you can run over and check out um, your favorite one. Um, so anyways, um, let's go through um, a couple of the folios. I'm not going to go through all of them because it would just be absolutely the longest, boringest video ever to try and go through and flip through every single one of them. But I will show you... Um, you know, the covers of each one of them so that you know um, which one you like and what you're looking for um, because they're all very, very similar as far as the pages and the ephemera that are inside them goes. So they're all really, really similar in that aspect. So um, this is just a few of them. I still have a lot <laughs> sitting on the table over there. Um, there's different size ones, um, different kind ones, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So, um, yes, um, there's still more over there. So, um, let me just, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to pile them up over here, um, and, and we'll go through a couple of them, and that way you can kind of get an idea of, you know, which ones you love or whatever, and you can go grab it out of the shop. Um, the way I'm going to list them is by numbers. So, in the Etsy shop, in the pictures, you'll see them numbered. There'll be two journals per picture with a number on them. And so that's how you'll know how to go and pick the number um, journal that you want. I don't have them numbered yet, um, but once I um, complete the Etsy listing and everything, and like I say, once you see this video uploaded, um, the Etsy listing will be ready. Okay, so let's just go through, um, we'll go through a few of them, you know, while I'm talking. And chit chatting with y'all. I I know I've been kind of absent lately. Um, I haven't done a lot of videos, and there's a reason for that, and that is the news that I have to share with y'all. So while we flip through this one, I'll kind of tell you the news. So y'all know I've been going to the lake quite a bit lately. Now these um th they're tied. They're all tied the same, and they're just wrapped with this sweet little twine, and um, this one is more like a floral farm style journal. Um, I have a few that are florally and farmy, and then the rest of them are just, you know, hardcore farm stuff, but um, I think the birds and uh, um, the flowers go beautifully with the farm stuff. So, um, of course, you know how the folios work. Um, you open them up, and there's a pocket on the back and the front. Then you have the actual journal itself. And then if you flip it over, you have the folio portion on the back with most of them have at least two pockets. Some of them have more. Okay. So we're going to go through this one, and I'll let you see this one. This one's one of the wider ones, and it measures eight and a half by about five and three quarters, okay? So there's that measurement, and then there's the measurement on the shorter ones, or not shorter, the less wide. What's the word I'm looking for? More narrow. <laughs> Lord. These are about eight and a quarter by about four and three quarters. So not a whole lot of difference between them, but, you know, maybe an inch or so. So anyways... Um, well, let's just go through this real quick first, and then I'll tell you about the news. And that way, because I want to talk about these. So in them, you're going to get all kinds of goodies. Um, you're going to get, I used a lot of my 
digitals in these. I tried to use as much of my digitals as I possibly could in these because I kind of wanted to give you an idea of how many of the different digitals you can mix, mix and match together um, and make them go well together. Um, you know, that you don't have to just get just one of the digitals and, and think, oh, you know, I have to just do all of this in, you know, all of this digital just in this one journal. You can mix and match mix and match them is that the word i'm looking for <laughs> can't talk today so in this one i have farming charms or farming charm the farming charm digital i have the farm style digital collage mixed in i have even the shabby vintage digital kit that i just released i've been able to use a lot of those items in these kits um in these kits in these journals uh, let me see. I know there's other ones that I've used in here. Let me just look in the back real quick. Um, I think this one's Farming Charm. So anyways, if I see something, I'll try and call it out to you. So in the front pocket, you're just going to get a bunch of goodies. Um, it, actually, I've stuffed these so full that I couldn't it was really hard in this pocket because that's where the folio part is. It was really hard to get stuff to fit down in there because I have the back pockets so full um, that it was, you know, it was giving me a hard time trying to get stuff in and out of there. So, but once you get the journal and you start using the items, you know, in your journal, it'll make it a little easier to get things in and out. So anyways, so you have the little pig. This is from Farming Charm. Um, this, these were some cute little pictures, and I just thought she was so adorable sitting at her fancy little table there. Um, so I just added her in. There's This is a tag from the Farming Charm um, kit. You get a paint chip. Some of them may have game pieces in them, um, playing cards. There's um, cute little pieces of stationaries. Um, I love this one. This is one of my favorites, and I think I tried to put a piece of this in just about every single one of them. Um, this is one of my favorites as well with the chickens and the roosters. Um, they're not specifically um, like cookbook journals or anything like that. They're just kind of, they have a farm style to them. And so I tried to leave them as versatile as possible so that you can do with it what you want to do with it. Okay, and then, so we'll do a flip through of the pages. So this is um, wrapping paper that I found at Tractor Supply. It was the cutest wrapping paper. I found two different kinds, and I found it at Christmas time, but this didn't look like Christmas to me, and so I thought, ooh, I can buy that, and I did wrap some Christmas presents in it, but I also um, started using it in my journals. So that's wrapping paper. These are from um, like a farming garden um, little magazine. This is vintage music paper. You get quite a few vintage pieces in here. This is vintage, um, a vintage from a vintage hymnal. This is that masking paper. This is a vintage grid sheet. This is a, this is the other, um, wrapping paper that I found with the cool cows. I love them. And it's got the names of each type of cow on there. Uh Oh, I have glued, got in a hurry and glued that <laughs> together. Um, vintage dictionary. This is some of that. Um, it's called, it's like rice paper, but it's Japanese calligraphy paper. It's really, really cool. Nice and crinkly. This is some vintage accounting pages. That's the green masking paper. And then you have vintage wallpaper. This is grid paper that's lined on the opposite side. It almost feels like two sheets. Oh, hello. It's vellum. I put a little piece of vellum in there. <laughs> That's why it felt like two sheets. Then you have this very pretty um, bird book page in the center here. And then, of course, everything's kind of the same. On the back side, you have um, flip opens and pockets. I, again, got in too big of a hurry when I glued my stuff down. I've been working on these all week long, y'all. And I was trying to get them ready for y'all by the end of the week and there's a reason why and that comes along with the news 
This is from the Vintage Shabby kit. So I just tucked it down in there just to show you that it's a pocket. And I didn't um, glue this. I, I want, wanted to leave it open to give you the option of making it a pocket or not. Little cluster. And we'll just have one of my crazy strips. And so those are the types of pages. All of the journals have 120 pages in them. So um, the 120 sides. So this would be one, two, three, four, that kind of deal. So you have 120 sides. Um, and then in the back pocket here, it's absolutely stuffed too. I don't know if I'm going to take this out because it was so hard for me to get it in there. Um, so... I'll just take it out on the next one because this one's really super stuffed. But you have some, another one of those little vintage pictures. Um, this is a little chicken printable from um, my Farming Charm uh, digital. You have some cool little journaling cards, a tag. And there are some little pieces down in there. This is a vintage Gold Bond stamp book page. And then a little notepad with a mason jar on it. So... I know that doesn't show you everything really well, but like I say, we'll go through the next one and I'll pull everything out. I just don't want to have to fight with that pocket. Okay, so like on this one, and all of them may have the pockets in different places, but you're going to get quite a bit of ephemera no matter where the pocket is or how it's situated. So you get a vintage flinch card, um, horse, a little horse playing card, and then that's just another um, playing card for you to be able to alter. Get a, fla a flash card, and this is like a little to-do list type thing. Guest check, and like I say, all of the ephemera is going to be different in each journal as well, but look how pretty that is. Isn't that little bird gorgeous? Okay, so we're going to put this in here. See, I've got them stuffed so full. There is so much stuff in here that it makes it a little difficult to load everything back in. <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so that's in that pocket. And then in this pocket, now some of the pockets on this side have two pockets, some have a side pocket, some have a belly band, and but they're still all very stuffed. Okay, so get a little tag in this pocket, a little piece of ephemera, it says Garden Fresh. Another one of those old pictures. This is like a, just a little, um, like a freight tag. These, this actually came out of a Tim Holtz pack. It's like the tag pack. A couple more um, playing cards. I love, love, this reminds me of a quilt. And so that's why I wanted to add some of those in there. This here is from the Farming Charm Digital, um, as well as this tag. And you have a large size gardening um journal card, large size tag. I added in um, a lot of my folk art stuff. And then you have a couple of pieces of um, lined papers or memo sheets or stationery to play with that are in this pocket. Okay, so I'm gonna grab another one to go through with you. Yeah, this one's super stuffed. Let me stuff this back in here, hang on. Okay, there we go. So this one is one of them. And again, this one's the one of the larger size ones. So, and then when you get ready to close it back up, you can just wrap this back around however you want to. I'll do that a little neater than that. <laughs> and then you just tie in a little bow here. And so this is how they all close. They all have this twine. Okay, and this, again, this is one of the wider ones. So, um, I'll show you, like, here's the barn door one, and if you can see, <laughs> they're super stuffed. Um, let's go through this one. I'll show you what's in this one. Let me sit that one over there, so I know I've already showed you that one. Okay. It's dying proof. <laughs> All right, so you have the, um, the barn paper here, and then this is like a ledger paper. How pretty is that? I love that with those flowers. And then open it up and see what I mean about, you know, some of the pockets are different, but they're all just as stuffed. 
So this one is stuffed with all kinds of ephemera here. You have some little, I don't know if you can see those, but they're little file folders with roosters and sunflowers on them. So stinking cute. And I just put you, I tried to stuff it full of ephemera that you could play with. This is a vintage receipt here um, that you could play with in your journal and be able to decorate it, you know, however you want to. So that's in that pocket. And I love using my vintage ribbon. That's a um, ribbon from probably, I would say, the 80s-ish. And I absolutely love it. And I think it's because it brings back such great memories of making wreaths with my mom. This pocket here is from my vintage ribbon scans kit that's in the Etsy shop. So you can find that in that uh, digital. And then in this pocket, I've stuffed it. You get a, a chicken or a rooster. And then again, you get one of these. Oh, let's see. There's like a vintage driver's log receipt. And I thought that was cool because, you know, um, the truckers have to come to the farms to get the vegetables and things like that. So I thought that was cool to add that in there. You get the chicken um, memo sheet, stationery, whatever you want to call it. Get another piece here that you can make a pocket or a tag out of. So I didn't make it into a tag. I just left it so that you could have the option to do either or. A little ephemera pieces here that you can play with. And then one of these sweet little memo sheets here. Okay, and then on this side, actually, I added, I had some little sticky notes. So you get the little cutting board sticky notes. Um, there's several of these little sticky notes that says who, what, and why. And then several of the big pot sticky notes. I just thought it looked cute with the farm stuff. So that's what's in the folio part of that. And then if you open it up, this is from the Shabby Vintage Digital. And again, I've got some of that um, memo paper stuffed in there. You get a uh, flash card. And I've hidden little pieces of play money in each of these journals just for a little fun. So you can go through and find the hidden money in there. <laughs> And then a large size, this is one of my collage tags, and it's backed with the coffee dyed paper. Um, little, little, bo little boy blue little tag. And again, like I say, it's all different kinds of ephemera. This you can use as a pocket or a tag or uh, whatever you want to use it for. And then you have this really cool vintage horse playing card. And I like the way he's just peeking out. All right, so here's the types of pages in these. This is that masking paper, vintage Sears catalog pages. Um, and throughout the journal, you have some little, um, like there might be a pocket or there might be um, an altered paper clip with something tucked in there for you. Just little goodies throughout the journal. So I'm just going to flip fairly quickly through this one um, so that you can, whoops, I glued that together. Vintage wallpaper. Again, you get a piece of vellum. This one has the bird pages in it again. Not all of them have the bird pages, but some of them do. So we just flip through here real quick. Another altered paper clip. And I usually try to put you know, like a little goodie in with that paper clip. And then in the back pocket, we, we can take the stuff out of this back pocket because it's not as uh, tight as the other one was. Well, I say it's not. <laughs> I might regret my decision. Y'all know how I have a hard time fighting with pockets anyway. <laughs> so in this pocket, you have like a little, this is like a little teeny tiny seed pack envelope. How stinking cute is that? And you can actually put stuff in it. That one's flowering kale. Um, get some more playing cards. I love these. Again, they look like a quilt, and I thought these would be really cool with, because what I like to do with these is I'll take them and staple them. It's hard to glue these because the glue tends to come off of them unless you sand it, but if you staple them in as a pocket or a tuck, then you can decorate it and, you know, or you can alter it, do whatever you want to with it, but that's just an idea. Cool little seed pack um, journaling card. This is from the Shabby Vintage Kit tag. And I love this. I love that rooster. He's so cool. 
And then this is actually from the, um, this is the Farm Col farm farm Digital, Farm Col farm Style Digital Collage. Oh, holy crow. Um, so I just made a tag out of it and added some of my vintage ribbon on there. And then this is a super, super old railroad log. This one's from 1911. And as you can see, it's a little bit tattered. So be careful when you take it in and out of the pocket. Um, but I just think it's so cool. The handwriting on there and that's the back side and it's very patinaed so looks very old it, well I mean it looks very old because it's um, over a hundred years old it's a hundred and nine years old so so um, that kind of gives you an idea of the different things that are in the journals so what I'm gonna do now since I've flipped through a couple of them is I'm gonna go ahead and stuff all of this back in the pocket and then I'll pull each journal over and just kind of flip through the pages and the pockets. I'm not going to pull everything out of the pockets because, again, that would take forever. And we've already been here 20 minutes. So um, I'll show you each journal and then you can run over to the Etsy shop and grab which one you love. So hang on and let me put all this back in the pocket real quick. Okay, so I've got this one tucked back together. Um, so if you love that one, you can run over and grab it. I'm trying to tie it a little prettier than I did the last one. <laughs> I should have tied it up before I uh, turned the video back on. So, um, I was going to let you guys know that um, I'll be leaving town again in the morning. And I'll be out of town for probably a week, approximately. Somewhere around in that time frame. And um, so, if you order these tonight or by nine o'clock in the morning which will be friday morning today's thursday so if you order them tonight or by 9 a.m friday morning they will ship out to you in the morning if not i won't be back in town until a week from monday to be able to ship the rest of the order so i'm just letting you know if you see one you love Go ahead and grab it if you need it faster than a week down the road. Um, and I don't normally do that. Normally, I'm really, really fast in my shipping. But this just kind of came about. Um, it's just, I, I have to go. So, um, uh, yeah. So, it's just going to delay the shipping a little bit. Also, if you order these by 9 o'clock in the morning, you will get a $5 discount on them. So, the regular price that I usually charge for my folios is $29.99. I'm going to list them for $24.99 until in the morning, uh, until about 9 o'clock in the morning. So, um, if you want the cheaper price, go ahead and grab them. And that's just to encourage you, if you want one, to go ahead and grab it so I can get it shipped out to you before I leave. So, thought I'd give you a little, cool little discount on there, um, you know, if you want them quicker. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the next one. And while I'm showing you these, I'm going to flip through these quickly because we are at quite a lengthy video now. So um, once I uh, flip through these, I'll, I'm, I'm going to go ahead while I'm flipping through them and just kind of show you all the goodies. Not show you all the goodies. I'm going to tell you about my news. Okay, so the big news is my husband and I have acquired a camper at the lake from my aunt and I am super super excited about it and so um, I decided to remodel it because it's kind of got that 90s 80s 90s style and I love that style in crafting but not in a, a dwelling <laughs> so I'm gonna remodel it and so I thought I would do some remodel videos um, of us remodeling the camper on my channel. And so that's why I'm leaving. Well, I was originally not going to leave until Monday to go down there. Um, but uh, my aunt called me and she said that, all, that my cousins were coming to stay the weekend with her. And that they would love to have me come and stay with them as well. And so I was super, super excited. My two cousins I haven't got to see in several, several years. And so I'm really, really excited to get to see them 
um, and spend some time with them this weekend. So I'm going um, in, in the morning. I'll be leaving in the morning instead of on Monday. And so I'll spend the weekend with them and then I'll work on the, I'll be working on the remodel um, all week next week. So I'm going to be uploading some videos. I've already done um, a before video of the camper to show you what it looks like before. Um, so, uh, now I'm not going to open every one of these and flip through them. I'm just going to open a couple of them and flip through them. I love, love, love this paper. This paper is from Authentique. It's called Homestead, I think is the name of it. And it's my favorite paper pad out there. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's super cute. It's, I love their little collage piece. Isn't that adorable? Yes, I love it. Okay, so anyways, so um, I've already gone ahead and done a, um, like a preview or, you know, like I shot a video of the before, you know, so you could see what it looked like before I start the remodel. And then um, I'm going to do some painting and I'm going to make some different curtains. I'm going to be covering the little couch that's in there and the cushions in the dining room. I'm going to be recovering those. Um, I have some really, really fun ideas for the curtains and the coverings over those cushions and stuff. So it's going to be a lot of work, um, but I'm really, really looking forward to getting it done so that when I go down to the lake from now on, I can enjoy it and um, not have to worry about, oh, I need to get this done and I need to get that done. You know, I told my husband, I was like, I just need to go down and get the remodel done and get these videos done so that... You know, I can relax and enjoy it when I go down there. So, um, there's that one. Let me show you some of the smaller ones just so you can kind of get an idea that they're pretty much all the same. So, yeah. So, um, I'm going to be releasing a video sometime this weekend of the, um, uh, the before video of the camper so that you can kind of see um, what it looked like beforehand. And then throughout the week next week, as I'm working in the camper now, I've already done a little bit of painting. Oh, I can't pull that apart because it's attached. <laughs> but anyways, I've already done a little bit of painting. And so um, I videoed that. So now I'll go ahead and warn y'all, I didn't have a lick of makeup on. I wasn't dressed up. You know, I was dressed for painting, so y'all just be forewarned um, that I was not uh, <laughs> I was not camera ready, but I went ahead and did it anyways because I thought, you know what, what the heck, if they love me, they're going to love me no matter what I look like, so, <laughs> so I, I hope y'all love me because <laughs> I was looking rough. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm super, super excited um, to be able to share those videos with y'all, and next week as I'm working, I will be, um, uh, you know, doing more videos and sharing them on my channel. I love this vintage card. Is that not the coolest thing ever? This is from the Autumn Farms digital kit. Um, this is from Farming Charm, and so is this. These, I think, are from Farming Charm. Cute little um, journaling cards there. This one is from Shabby Vintage. This one is from my folk art stuff. I put just little strips of goodies in there um, to share with you. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's the exciting news and I'm really, really excited to uh, share it with y'all. I feel extremely, extremely blessed um, that I'm getting to do this um, and that I was uh, blessed enough to be able to um, get the camper and um, we worked it out with my aunt so that we could get it and I, I'm super super excited about it so I'm excited to share that experience with you too there's a vintage bingo card S super cool, cool little chicken playing card this one's from Autumn Farms this pocket here um, again you have some of the little memo sheets I love this little memo sheet in that pretty with the little birdhouse. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. This is a little strip, one of the strips from, I think this one's in Farming Charm. And um, this is the 
farm the farm style digital collage. Um, but yeah, I put this in there so you could use it as a belly band, or you can put it on the side as a pocket or a tuck, or you know, cut it up and make paper clips out of it. However you want to do it. So um, some of them I put pockets. Now y'all know I'm not a fussy cutter, so I left that part for you to do. <laughs> but I don't mind giving you them. Uh, but I just ain't gonna fussy cut them. That's from Autumn Autumn Farms. Um, and then th this is um, from this is a um, one of my photography pictures that I just printed out on regular um, paper. So, anyways, um, this will be the last one I open up so that I can just kind of show you the covers from this point forward so that we don't get too far behind. Did I flip through this one? I can't remember. I don't remember if I did or not. I'm just going to flip through it quickly. They all have like vellum and those, um, like some of them have the, some of the book page, some of the background pages from my digital kits, music paper, vintage ledger, braille paper, um, Lots of different things. Vintage wallpaper. I think I said that. Vintage wrapping paper. I know. Just regular wrapping paper. So anyways, um, that kind of gives you an idea of what they look like on the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and start showing you the rest of the covers of them. And then um, we'll end the video. Because Okay, so this is one of them. This one's super cute. And even though it's got the pinkish, peachish tones, this one is farm style on the inside and it looks super cute together then you have this one this is from that homestead um authentic, authentic paper pad as well and i love the chickens in the little tuxedos how stinking cute are they then you have the one that's like this is the um like vintage postcards and ledgers and um maps in some of them so all of these are farm style this is the authentic paper um, and i love this in that beautiful the blue and the roses and then there's this one this is from farming charm and um, there's this one this is the farm style digital hopefully i'm showing these okay um this one is farming charm i love her with her little chicks and this one turned out to be kind of chicken themed there's lots of chicken stuff in that one <laughs> it just kind of happened that way this one's from the farm style digital and again, I've mixed and matched all of these digital kits inside um, the journals. This is the um, Homestead paper pack from Authentic. Um, this one is the Farm Style Digital Collage Kit. This one is the Farming Charm, and I love with the rooster and the bingo card. Super cute. And then there's three more, and we'll be finished. Um, so yeah, so I'll be out of town next week, um, but I will be trying to do some videos of the remodel so that you guys can kind of follow along and see what we're doing. Hopefully it'll be fun for you. Um, if it's not something that you're interested in, leave it in the comment below, you know, and um, I know some people, you know, people don't always like to watch just crafting videos. So I thought it would just be something fun to share with y'all. And I mean, I'm going to be doing it anyway, so why not share it with y'all? So anyways, hopefully y'all are okay with me doing that on my channel. So um, if you love these, leave it in the comments below or you don't even have to. I mean, just go grab you one. I love them. I love the way they turned out. I worked really, really hard on these. Pretty much from daylight to dark uh, for the last four days. <laughs> so um, I was trying to get them done so that you guys can get them before I leave this weekend. So anyways, I hope that you enjoy them. I hope um, you will forgive me for being out of town, but um, I am trying to do something fun uh, for my channel. And so hopefully you'll enjoy all the fun stuff that I'll have going on. Uh, with the camper remodel, I'm going to do some um, embroidery style curtains and probably some vintage quilt um, covers for the dining table. And I'm going to try. We'll see how it goes. So you'll see how I do in the videos as we go along. So I just didn't want to do that, put that video up and then y'all be waiting forever for the finished or, you know. So I thought, why not just bring you along the journey with us? So Anyways, thank y'all for being patient with my blabber, and I'm sorry. I'm just going on and on and on. So, these are in the shop. 
run over and grab one if you love one. Um, again, I have 20. Well, 19 because um, I did have someone who, she's sick. So she asked me to save her one in case she missed it um, when I posted it because she's been sleeping. So I promised her I would do that. Um, I don't normally hold journals just simply because, you know, then that gets to be a real big deal. But um, for her, with her being sick, so... We're going to make an exception. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Be looking for my camper overhaul videos and all the fun stuff that, and all the hard work I'm going to be doing. So I love y'all real big. Thank y'all for being patient with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Big hugs.